Good day, guys. Austin here, and today we're going to be looking at front ends again. Now, you all know that I'm a Hyperspin fan. You all know that I use it, to be honest. And I try and develop it, and I help you guys help it at the end of the day. But as you know, I've also been looking at other front ends. And yeah, I will always go back to Hyperspin, because that's my, that's my blood. And I'll always continue with the guides and all that kind of stuff. But I also... You also know that I'm frustrated so much with the limitations within that, that I want to, well, I'd like choice at the end of the day, and I'd like to bring choice to you guys, that's why I brought out the Retro FE video the other day, because I think they're worthy enough of being a valid choice for taking it to the next level. But who knows what branch we could go, who knows what could happen in the future, what would be released, it's all up in the air, and that's what's so exciting about this kind of scene. But yeah, I took the bull by the horns. I've got ideas that I want to be realised, and other people have brought amazing things to their front end. So what I decided to do was take one of these front ends and actually amalgamate all the best features or all the best things from all the other front ends that we can think of. I don't know, Launchbox, uh, GameX, um, ROM Jacket, uh, the Ice one that's on Steam. There's loads, there's hundreds of these front ends. But what I want to actually do is take the best features from them and put them in there. Because what is a front end at the end of the day? It's something that actually entices you. Not only makes it easier for you to play all your games, but also entices you to actually play them. So I want draw dropping graphics. I want things, I don't want a big list of games that are just in, I don't know, Arial 11 font down the left hand side and I just scroll through and play them. Because that's just boring. I can play them from my desktop. I want to be enticed. <laughs> I want to see the flavor of the game before I actually play it so yeah that's what I decided to do so I've taken various features people have helped me out no ends especially the guys over at Retro FE uh, Peter, EMB, Timmy B, uh, Warm they've all really dug in because I don't know any code whatsoever and they have really helped me out with actually coming to this with any kind of fruition and also James Baker um, I'm using a lot of his stuff especially from the Hyperspin Cinematic and his front end themes I think are the way forward with some of this kind of stuff he really has thought outside the box and that's the kind of stuff that I love so I've been experimenting like you guys know with some themes but I've decided to take it to the next level so, using James Baker's stuff, using the knowledge from the guys over at Retro FE, using my own wild imagination, I've come up with well, like a pre-alpha, alpha, alpha something. Now, if you want this to come to any fruition, you need to get on these guys' cases over at Retro FE, um, over at Hyperspin, over at uh, uh, James Baker himself, because he can, the guy who came up with all the idea with, with the video stuff. Um, I don't share anything unless I have the permission to share from the people who make the stuff because you know it's not mine to share at the end of the day and I know a lot of this stuff actually comes from the game you know game developers themselves all the artwork and stuff um, but people have put you know hours of work into a lot of this stuff that's actually on offer and I don't want to share anything unless it, it's I get the nod if you get what I mean obviously there's certain things which yeah whatever but some of the stuff that I know people put their heart into I won't share unless I get the nod but anyway we, we digress let's actually look at something that could be very exciting in the future now again guys this is pre alpha 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 you know it does work I can select my systems I can select my games everything runs it's fluid as anything um, in terms of I've linked it to my um, rocket launcher so uh, basically my complete hyperspin setup can be controlled by this front end, you know, it, Hyperspin uses Rocket Launcher, Rocket Launcher is actually the brains which launches all the games, uh, so all I've done is point this towards Rocket Launcher so it runs identically to the way that Hyperspin does, the only difference is that the graphics, the, the way it's controlled, the way the features come in, the way all it's all represented on the screen to me is completely different. So yeah, this is fully usable. The only thing that's pre-alpha alpha is my imagination coming up with these goddamn themes and the way I want to interact with it and the, what I want within features within this. So yeah, enough of my waffles. Let's actually have a look at what I've been doing. It's probably all bullshit. This so you're gonna hate it, but you know, it it's the next level for me. It really is. So here we go. This is the main screen. This is the kind of thing that James Baker's been coming up with. So he's been coming up with, you know, your 1080 themes that come in from nowhere. 
bouncing graphics, nice tunes, you can see the gameplay and it shows you all through the actual system itself. Now what I like to do is actually take bits from the other systems so now I can actually scroll with the themes down the right hand side and actually choose systems whatever I want. So I choose it, it loads it up. Now what I will be developing is, is actually a splash screen that comes in before the theme comes in to actually blend each system in one to another kind of thing. So again, the graphics come in. It's amazing what this James Baker's done. You really do need to look at his thread. There's going to be a link in the description down below to entice him into making not only more, but actually allow us guys permission to actually um, utilize this kind of stuff. He really has done a top notch job. These are high quality stuff. Uh, let's have a look at some of the other stuff he's bringing into Capcom again. So this is the main menu wheel, like if you're thinking of, I don't know, GamerX or Hyperspin or Launchbox or something like that, this is where you choose your system first of all. And it's, it's epic, you know, really looking good. There's a lot of quality got into it. And I would like other people to jump on this bandwagon, help out, start coming in with new themes. You know, all you need to do is develop something that's 1080 and you can utilize it however you want. And this is all the three main theme stuff. Epic, epic good. So, you know, it's going to take too long to go all the way through all these systems, but they really are on the next level, guys. Really worth a good look into. nice stuff so what I've been doing is actually adding I don't know like a secondary menu I suppose in hyperspin terms you would call this the default menu so once you've chosen your system you then go into it and it loads it up now what I'd like to do is actually see the game as I'm gonna play it so instead of having little tiny snaps in the corner or whatever I don't know let's have a look at some games instead of having little tiny snaps in the corner where you see the game I want to see it as I'm going to be playing it so my actual bezels match this my screen matches this the artworks there the box arts there there's still a hell of a lot of stuff that I want to bring into this first of all I want the game information so I want to have number of players I write up about the game manufacture year it came out all that information along the bottom where it's shaded out I'm going to be changing that shaded out area uh, I also want to have the control configuration for whatever system you got to be working on, whether it be uh, arcade, uh, my Xbox 360s, my uh, PS4 pad. I want all that bringing in to, from whatever pad I'm going to be using. Uh, number of players, all that kind of good stuff. You know, you're only limited by your imagination, guys. And I, I want as much input from you guys as to how things should go. So as you can see, I've not only shown the video full screen as compared to its aspect, I've given it a nice bezel for its actual system. Um, the wheel itself, which is on the right hand side, I've actually done a, the high definition version at the top so it overlays the actual games. The box that's there in 3D, it's got a 2D, but I might actually bring in the 3D car art, depending on the systems. Again, each system is completely different. And depending on what system you get in, depends on what kind of overlays and what kind of features you get in. But I want the overall theme to be the same. So give me some feedback, guys. What, what do you think about this kind of stuff? You know, I've been spending a couple of days on this. Again, it's very early days of all this kind of stuff. There's a long way to go, but I think I think this is a damn good evolution to look into, to be honest. So let's have a look at some other systems that I've... I'm not sure what I've been working on, to be honest. What have I been working on? Uh, Neo Geo. I know I did some on that. So this is the Neo Geo. Again, James Baker, he came up with the actual um, cinematic preview, as you can see on the, on the front. Again, on this bit, I, I want to have the control overlays actually placed onto the screen, flashing in and out. I want to have uh, some write-ups about the actual system on there. Uh, I got it's a blank canvas. I, I want to start adding things. You know, I need arrows. I need obviously things to tell people what to do next to actually utilize the system itself. Um, so yeah, let's actually go into it and have a look. So as you can see, again, down the left and the right hand side, I've actually brought in the bezel to actually prove this. Uh, we've got the cart art, we've got the box art. I'm going to have information down the bottom and things like that. The logo's up at the top. As you scroll, the wheels come into play. I probably moved them wheels over to the left a little bit because at the moment they're being kind of half on the bezel and half 
off the bezel. It looks a bit untidy. So I might actually bring in a shader or something, bring in some arrows or controls. I don't know. Again, you know, this is me pre-alpha alpha, just smashing out ideas and things like that. But I think bringing the screen, the actual video itself, and showing it as I'm going to be playing it once I click start kind of thing um, is epic. All I do now, if I want to play it, is click start and it plays the game. Epicness, absolutely epicness. And the transition to the game, I can bring any transition I want. I can bring videos, I can bring um, animations, art, box art, art, information of how many times I've played it, all that kind of good stuff. It's limitless, guys, it really is. Have I got any other before I actually tie this one up, guys? I'm not sure. Did I do any Super Nintendo? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, we've got some Super Nintendo on the go here. So again, box art, cart art. I think I need to resize the actual cart art on that. Is that? It's looking a bit too big, I think. But you see, you know, this is just me putting ideas down on paper kind of thing. And actually experimenting to, to open up new horizons, to get new things developed, and to actually broaden people's experience. Because I think this is an actual <laughs> epic little thing if it comes to fruition, guys. But I need you guys to help out a little bit. Not so much with making stuff, just give me ideas. Get on people's back about what they, what you want to see, what, what kind of things you want to happen, what systems you want to be introduced to it, and things like that. Um, so yeah, let's exit out of here then. And that's what I've come up with so far, guys. Like I said, you know, it's like, what, 24 hours work gone into that? And as you can see, it's it's come on leaps and bounds. It really has. And I want to take this to the next level. But yeah, that's it, guys. Comment down below anything you want added. Go to the websites, you know, the RetroFE website, the Hyperspin website. Go on the actual GitHubs of places that actually develop things like this. And get people involved and give your input, because that's the only way things are going to be developing. So that's it, guys. I'd, first off, before I leave you, I'd like to say thank you to those guys uh, uh, on the Twitter, because he managed to get me over a thousand likes or a thousand followers on Twitter. That's immense. I hardly even tweet. I do try and give people a heads up about what's going to be happening on Twitter, so those who follow me on Twitter do get kind of a, a leading uh, helper, as in what's going to be coming next. Uh, my Google Plus, I like to get votes on there. Uh, and polls to see what kind of systems you want bringing out next and you can have a vote about what comes next Facebook is a place if you want to get games I release games on there all the time for you guys um, I can't I'm only limited to so many things I can do on YouTube due to the contractual and licensing laws and things like that there's only so many things I can do but on Facebook my hands are untied and I can help you out a hell of a lot more with actual game systems um, all that kind of good stuff that I can't really divulge that much out here on YouTube and thank you guys for all the support that you've been giving me so far I really am going to be stepping this up to the next level now and actually start bringing front ends to you um, I'm going to try and start configuring things complete so instead of actually following my tutorials so much it's almost going to be like here's the base with everything set up as standard all you need to do is put whatever systems you want onto there and the output package them up as the kind of packages I'm going to be starting looking into this so thank you very much for all your support guys it really does bring me a long way when you just do a simple thing like click like on this video if you share immense absolutely immense but thank you so much for all the support you've been giving me over these uh, well I've only been doing this for six months and look how far we've come we are surpassing everybody on the internet I'm gonna be global and we're taking over the world <laughs> no. no not by any means guys but thank you so much for all the support and most of all you have a good day guys <laughs> Ladies. <laughs>